So let's talk about you, Air Tribe, for the week ahead. It does feel like, um, as a common energy for the three of you, there's a lot of focus in terms of your relationships and in terms of unity, belonging, relationship, um, healing. It's like there's a process that some of you air signs have been in or you currently are um, experiencing that deals with shared evolution. And it does feel like for some of you air signs, you have been having a hard time bonding and connecting with this other energy the way in which that fusion and that unity and that closeness as it is supposed is allowed to happen and so due to it it feels like uh, some of you air signs as an aftermath or a consequence of that difficulty um, you have been suffering some delays and I really feel like for some of you air signs during this week, there's a strong focus in what we would call divine unions. Unions that are meant to be soul contracts that are meant to be formed during this lifetime um, that already kind of crossed paths into your life or are going to start to cross paths now in, in which there will be a high degree of challenge because this unity... Uh, touches in you air signs, uh, a, an aspect of vulnerability and of giving up control that some of you will be struggling with. And I also feel like this is a week where it's like a contrast type of week for some of you air signs. Relationships that are doing well are just going to even go to the next level, are even going to do better in the coming days. Relationships that have been struggling, you might feel like the intensity of those challenges in relationships might get a deeper and worse. So the challenging element might get intense and worse just as the positive one. I do feel like it's one of those times again that it's a, a purposeful time to do healing together. It's better together than apart. In whichever form this um this this the, the, in whichever form this message resembles to you for some of you will be romantically speaking for some of you will be family friends it will be just with people in which there has been and it will be a lot of kind of forces bringing these two aspects together like the lovers within are now manifested outside in your reality and some of you are struck with the situation because you're not really sure that um, you can let go of your individuality or your previous um, previous attachments to ways of being and lifestyles that put you as again in that very individualistic uh, kind of expression in order to compromise, to bind yourself with this other energy or person. And for Geminis, it does feel like... For Geminis, you, Geminis actually have a very similar reading with Leo. So if you're dealing with a Leo or a Taurus, Earth sign energy, um, this might be significant for you, or you might want to watch the Leo reading. It does feel like for Leos, you are dealing here with... Uh, I'm sorry, with Gemini's, you're dealing with some sort of preoccupation with someone. It might be that if you're married, if you are in an established relationship, your partner might not be doing well, either financially or health-wise. There's a sense of preoccupation with someone, um, someone else's condition. But there's also uh, shared knowledge and shared advice that is being uh, given to you and your significant other or to you and a person of interest. It's like you and your person of interest might be struggling or this person, a family, a friend, whoever it is, or prof even professional, uh, someone you might be working with as well. You and this person might be struggling in finding, you know, solutions to your problems and you might be seeking counseling together, shared counseling, like going to uh, therapy, together or um, going 
towards someone that carries more knowledge or detached view from the situation so that our spiritual guidance in which um, they can, this person and entity can kind of bring for both of you, both that are struggling, can bring insight, advice, counseling that is of value. There's also this energy of some of you, Geminis, you're seeking seeking and building strategies as well during this week. It could be that some of you want to propose, you want to take your relationship to the next level, or you want to be proposed to, but due to financial stress or professional stress, instability, that might be delayed or it has been delayed. Like financial pressures or material pressures pressures have been getting in the way of you and someone connecting or committing or living together or doing something together as you really want to do. Some of you, the again, it's very it's those those times where uh, there's a lot of shared uh, assistance that it's needed for both of you to feel safe and solid in a structure of relationship that feels like it's getting, um, it's like it's weakening, it's less and less solid, less and less defined, less and less uh, committed. There is a way back to commitment, back to solid, consistent um, focus here, but not without effort and not without everyday efforts, like needing to water here the seeds so that a new version of a relationship blooms or a relationship blooms or something in your life blooms the way you want it to bloom. If this is not about relationships, it's about something you're struggling with financially or health-wise and needing to take proper action, needing to be very focused and disciplined and pragmatic in the approach you take to find better results. For Libras, Libras are carrying here um, a heavy load. Libras have as well here a karmic thing with another person. It might be a younger person or someone that has more of a youthful spirit than you. Uh, it could be an earth sign that you're dealing with, especially Libras that are dealing with earth signs, so Taurus, Virgo, um, in Capricorn energy. There might be a karmic cycle in... Um, time that has been defining this relationship, that has been defining the lessons and the difficulties and the struggles that these two individuals have been finding to freedom, to release of an aspect, a shared aspect that has been more restrictive and limiting to the relationship or association than liberating. So I feel like you Libra are finding a way or wanting to find a way to free yourself from a connection that feels heavy and it feels like a long-term one. So probably this is someone that has been in your life for some time. Uh, it could also be that this is a child that you're responsible for or other uh, someone uh, that you're responsible for financially or where you feel, okay, even if it's not responsible in terms of family, um, in terms of family responsibility, it's someone that you feel responsible for, for some reason. It does feel like some of you Libras have a lot of work to do when it comes to unpacking, unloading, really putting the baggage here down and taking it one piece at a time. And it does feel like this person um, in which there might be the situation occurring uh, it's like it could be that both need to take the baggage together, what's inside of the baggage together so that you can be free or so that you can find to a realization, okay, how can we lighten up our relationship? How can we find a way to be together, to relate that it's not always about burdens and, and delays and harsh lessons and work, 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 work. Some of you, that this is about love, your love life feels more like work, like duty, than what it should be. If this is about 
family relationships or friends, the same thing. It's like a constant effort, 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 effort to gain so little. So for some of you Libras as well, that this is not about um, relationships. It's more about you have been applying so much work and effort to bring a new opportunity. It could be professional opportunity or just um, to do something that is going to add more quality to your life. You have been working so hard for that and you feel like you get so little. Again, I keep getting like you want so much or you have done so much and you get less than what you deserve or that you feel like you deserve. Or someone as well is feeling like you they are receiving from you less than what uh, they deserve. So it feels like, especially if you are, this is about money. It could be that someone is not happy with the money. They are receiving from you. They feel like you're not being fair or you're not paying what you owe or you're not paying in according to the to the to what they had in mind or to if this is about someone you're divorced from or where there's some sort of um, some sort of responsibilities due to children. Um, it could be that there's some issues with money here interfering. Again, in you finding that freedom. I also feel like for some Libras, you're just, <laughs> the word here is like you're playing hard to get. If this is about love also, new love, new prospects of love, or someone, it's like some of you Libras have turned a little bit cold, or you were, you're wearing here an armor, like the King of Swords vibe here. You're wearing this armor. Where you're like cool, collected, controlled. You don't feel nothing. You don't want nothing. You're self-sufficient. All is all in your mind. Love is in the mind. Love is not real. Some of you believers are really in this mentality of complete extraction of feelings. But there's this page of pentacles that uh, triggers you, right? This 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 this, this outside influence is triggering the cold feeling. The um, lack of sentiment, the lack of emotion, the emotionless appearance that you're coming across with is something that this person might know is a facade or is a mask or this person just has a way in. This person has a way in to melt whatever defenses you have created. So for example, if this is about a new love, this person might be the one that is trying, with the Two of Cups as the main influence, is the one that is trying to heal or help you heal, help you trust, help you connect with the soul, help you connect with a very fundamental part of your being that has been disconnected. You have been disconnected. I feel like some of you Libras have been disconnected from the heart to survive. Uh, for Aquarius, I do feel feel like Aquarius just want to be done with something and it's like you really want to end this chapter in which you felt like you have been a prisoner of some sort, a cycle that has been very restrictive or limiting for your sense of freedom and accomplishment. Some of you have felt like you were, um, again, held back by forces beyond your control, like feeling like Others had an upper hand in your life, in your world. Um, the, the society at large has more rules or more things than you can fight against. So I keep getting like a lot of feeling here upon the collective concept of life and feeling so little, feeling like you couldn't make the difference um, that you wanted to make to, to change something about the world that you wish you could change. So basically you can look at this as your own world, right? Your own personal world, feeling like you have been helpless in your own personal world. Um, but also thinking it to looking at the world at large as a place where you're small, seeing yourself as small or with less importance than the one you would like to have. And I feel like some of you Aquarius that during this week, you're going to be triggered here, um, most likely by a fire energy. So it can be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius person or individual that it could be a professional relationship or a relationship at distance actually there could be some distance between you and this person um, like a long-distance relationship or just an international contact 
that might be formed during this time, uh, that it's this this person it feels like it's the opposite. They feel big. They feel like they can take on the world. They feel like can do anything. They're very forthcoming when it comes to the fire energy. So they take actions. They take risks. They are a rebel. Um, and this rebel energy might be coming in here to take you out of that blindfold, which is the mind state, right? The mind frame that has been um, not allowing you to see things as they really are in terms of your world. So it's like you're only seeing the negatives or you're having a very negative connotation when it comes to the opportunities you're finding. And this King of Wands comes across as a force that strips that uh, blindfold out of you without manners. So it can be a little bit of a... Um, this can be a pushy person. It can be a pushy individual. It can be someone that is really... You know, it's not someone that is going to talk to you or be with you with manners, with the politeness and civil grace that our social relationships tend to have. It's someone that is going to be very blunt and honest and frank with you because this is exactly what you need to rescue, what you need to revive in your own spirit is that side of you that is just like that. An Aquarius is in rebel energy. An Aquarius is someone that does not convey, that does not settle with the status quo if it does not agree, if it does not correspond with that heightened vision of uh, what the truth is. So you have been out of your element that deals with ori originality, vision, risk-taking, action, power to be, power to create. And there's a force coming if it's not already in your life, that is going to take that, it's like going to pull out of you, <laughs> it's like it's going to pull out of you something that has been very repressed down, like in the last weeks or months, if there was something that has been really quiet, it's like a person is going to awaken you here, the, the lion spirit, so you might be really dealing with the Leo kind of vibe, so I hope you have a great week. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of June, as usual, I have two sales offer available. One, it's a mid-year reading. It's a reading that looks into the second half of 2019 and what kind of opportunities and challenges might be a part of your life during that time frame. And the other one, it's a specific themed reading, which is called Masquerade Ball. And this is a reading that was um, created to look at uh, the theme of disguises, what might be concealed and hidden from uh, your objective understanding. So basically what's the truth behind the masked energy um, in a certain sense in your life that you might be unaware of. So if you would like to know <clears throat> more details again about those special offers or any other of my services, just email me or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So I hope you have a great week, Air uh, Tribe, and hopefully we'll see each other soon.